What's poppin' fight world? You rockin' with your boy? What's shaking out there, man? What you think about your boy Terrence Crawford versus my boy Josito Lopez, man? I think that's a good fight. It's a tough fight. I would love to see the way Bully Spence get in the ring with a tough guy like a Josito Lopez, man. The guy took your boy Keith Thurman to war. Took him back, shot the jab, pushed him on the back foot. He's relentless. He got a good jaw. He's strong. He's durable. I think this is a good fight for your boy uh, Terrence Crawford. Not only is uh, Josito Lopez ranked rangy, tough, but he's front foot dominant, and he's got good range, right? Good range, good jab. So this is a competitive fight. I like it. I hope it go down, man. But let's talk about your boy Terrence Crawford and Conor McGregor. Let me tell you something right now. Conor McGregor, look, he did his thing in this fight. Come his, his you know, his, his last fight, man. You know, it was something that I thought he wasn't gonna be able to look as good as he normally have done. You know, he's been on for a while, and I don't really get into the UFC type thing, man. But I do follow Conor McGregor, man. I just believe that he looks. Like, He's an animal. He looked good. Looked strong. Stamina was good. Good jab, man. He dropped that boy. And I'm going to tell you one thing, man. You put this Conor McGregor in the ring with your boy Floyd Mayweather, and I guarantee you he stopped Floyd Mayweather this time, man. I guarantee you, man. The height, the length, the relentless pressure, and the fact that he's had time to, you know, sit back and relax and think and watch and see. And he knows how to beat your boy Mayweather at this particular time. And I think... This may be the upset of the decade. The, the, I'm telling you right now, people with Floyd getting the ring with Conor. It's going to be a different type of ball game, man. I don't even see Conor talking trash like that there. I mean, they're going to boost the fight up, man. But I believe, you know, Conor is going to be in that gym working on some things, man. Because I think he got the, the talent, the skill to be in the boxing ring. You understand me? He needed the stamina, right? He needed the stamina and he needed to work on some things, tweak tweak a little bit different things like that there. But for a guy fighting first, First professional fight against a Floyd Mayweather, that's a beautiful thing, guys. We gotta give him props for that, man. But I think that you know, uh, Terrence Crawford fighting your boy Conor McGregor, it's a beautiful thing. It's a step in the right direction, trying to get your money up, get your popularity out there. You know, ESPN, and you know, I think they'll be able to boost this fight up, man, and to be a money maker because of the, you know, both audiences. You understand what I'm saying? And Terrence Crawford, he definitely needs that, man. And you know, one thing about Terrence Crawford, he's more than just a boxer, man. He can scrap. You see what I'm saying? You go back to his history, into his documentaries, you will hear about him in the streets getting it on so he knows how to wrestle he know how to you know I me mean, get on the ground and be strong and be tough and he's really really one of those guys that get busy man you seen when he got dropped he got touched up by homeboy a few different you know what i mean but terence crawford always get hit in his fights that's the that's the what we always say the weight bully is gonna be able to hit crawford because crawford get hit a lot in his fights but he ultimately gets the victory he ultimately knocks his guy out his opponent out and it, it was no different in his last fight with the mean machine man he just he got hit and he said you know what now let's get busy you know what i mean he didn't walk away he didn't go in the back foot he didn't box his ears off he made sure he made a statement and he stopped that boy so that's when we say you understand me it's a difference between sean porter fighting and beating up on your boy the weight bully spence and, and your boy crawford taking a little bit of uh, punishment and early in that fight and he stopped his opponent and your boy the weight bully spence didn't that's the difference you may say well the mean machine is not as good as sean porter who says <laughs> sean the mean machine get busy put the mean machine in there with sean porter put me in the machine in there with the weight bully and you'll see what happens it's because you don't know the way mean machine this is because you don't know you know his fights and who he's for because you're not a true boxing fan the only thing you do is watch the big fight so you wouldn't know who the mean machine is but at the end of the day i think it's a good fight if my boy you know my boy uh, crawford getting in the ring with either one cito lopez or your boy conor mcgregor it's a beautiful thing but you rocking with your boy cbt let me know your thoughts on this thing holla at me peace